hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm so excited for today's video because we are going to be doing a holiday themed video for those of you who don't follow me on instagram a couple weeks back in like november ish on instagram i asked you guys to send me some movies holiday themed christmas themed that were cringy odd weird just all of the above that i thought we could just react to around the holiday season and there were definitely a lot of options that you guys sent but i finally settled on one and it's called mingle all the way Upon reading the title, I immediately thought that this was gonna be like a Christian mingle all the way kind of movie, but from the trailer that I saw, it doesn't seem like it actually has anything to do with Christianity or Catholicism or anything like that. It just seems like a movie about a dating app and Christmas because those are definitely two things that go together well. I'm also 99.9% .9 sure this is a Hallmark movie, which I definitely think there is a general public opinion on Hallmark movies and it's not the best one. I will give the movie this. They have a semi-unique title, which not many Hallmark movies can say they have. Christmas Next Door. The sweetest Christmas, Christmas wishes. Christmas, Christmas bells are ringing. Christmas, 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 Christmas bells. According to the description of the IMDb page, Molly starts an app for busy people to find a plus one without the romance of dating sites. An investor wants the app tested by Molly, forcing her to join. The app selected man's already bumped into Molly twice and unpleasant. Is love in the air? Wait a second, that sentence doesn't make sense. The app selected man's already bumped into Molly twice and unpleasant. What? The movie has a 57% on Rotten Tomatoes, which definitely isn't the worst score in the world, but one of the reviews is, it's like watching two robots act inside a cardboard box. Well, my expectations are definitely not high, but hopefully this is entertaining. Of course, before we start today's video, we have to do this week's sweaty shout out. This week, it goes to Gilgamesh underscore consumer underscore of underscore reality, and they sent this photo. If you want to get a sweaty shout out for yourself, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, which makes you a sweaty, and then follow me on Instagram and DM me your favorite meme of the week on Instagram, and you might get chosen. Honestly, I can't wait for my FBI agent to arrest me for watching this. I'm not going to say anything, but just know I'm not happy about it. Hey, daddy. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey, Miles. Why does the dad kind of look like Santa Claus? Up, so the movie already starts off on a terrible foot with an awful font, and I know I just said I wasn't going to mention it, but here I am mentioning it because, Jesus Christ, what the hell is that font? But we're introduced to the main character, Molly, who has apparently gone against her family of accountants to set her own path as a designer of an app, and they have the most lukewarm freakout I've ever witnessed over a family Christmas tree star thing that supposedly is super important, even though literally nobody looks that bothered over it. Where's the angel? Somehow it got lost during the move. Oh, sorry, Dad. I know that angel's been in your family ever since you were little. You can already tell that they'll find the angel at the end of the movie, and as they're like dramatically putting it on the top of the tree, Christmas shoes starts playing in the background. Engaged. Your little sister is getting married. What? Harry okay. finally popped the question. <laughs> Mom, it's not official yet, but I did find a little bag from the jeweler, and I think it could be any day now. Oh no, 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 no. Listen, I'm well seasoned enough with Christmas movies to know that any time a female character finds some sort of jewelry that she thinks her boyfriend or husband is gonna give her, it never ends up being for her. Then there's this really awkward moment after her sister announces the engagement that hasn't even been confirmed yet where Molly's mom asks her if she's seeing anyone or bringing anyone to their holiday party in this super weird pleading way. Is there anyone special you would like me to add to our list because I'm finalizing the guest list? Um, nope, it's just gonna be me. Listen. I will fucking kill you if you don't bring a plus one to my party. You know if you come back to work, you'd have steady hours again, and you'd be able to spend more time in your social life. H how else are you going to find a Harris of your own? I really thought she was about to say, how else are you gonna find a Harry Styles on your own? I'm just, I'm not really interested in finding another Evan. I'm interested in starting my own business. Ooh, she's a working girl. All right, you get this out of your system, this app thing, and then, then you'll come back to Hoffman Accounting, where you belong. You know how hard she's been working on creating Mingle All The Way. The app is actually called Mingle All The Way. I thought that was just the name of the movie. You know what, we're gonna slide past the fact that nobody would ever buy an app called Mingle All The Way, but even, not even considering that, who was typing in Mingle All The Way into the app store, ever? Then we get introduced to the other guy who, I'm not gonna lie, I can't remember this guy's name to save my life. I think it was either Chad or maybe Jeff at one point, 
We're just gonna call him Jad to cover both bases here. But the weird thing about Jad is his like plot line that's kind of set up, or I guess his character arc, is that he's this like absent uncle because he works a lot, which I don't think I've ever heard of an absent uncle considering, I don't know about you guys, but I think I see my uncle like three times a year. And the way they frame him in the movie, it's as if he's an absent dad, but he's an uncle. So Why does he look so familiar? Was he in Team Wolf or something? Just run the pitch one more time. Helen Lang isn't going to invest in my app unless the presentation is flawless. Can I just say that this is a stupid app? Like, this would never work. Like, who would want to bring a complete stranger to a family party? What if they were nuts? At this point in the movie, they haven't really explained what the app does, but judging by the description of the movie, we get an idea of what it is. Like, if you need a plus one for some sort of Christmas party or event, you can go on there and find someone and you don't have to worry about like actually dating them. But in real life, who would use this? Like this is a terrible idea. You show me the updated logo. Agreed. Oh no, that's ugly as fuck. <laughs> that is not cute. She's a successful CEO, career driven and a leader in her field. Yet whenever she's invited to a corporate event, the only thing people ask her is who she's dating and why she isn't married yet. Don't get me wrong here, I can completely understand that it must be annoying when people are like, are you seeing anybody? Why aren't you seeing anybody? You should get to seeing people because you're getting old all the time at Christmas parties or holiday parties, but is it that bad that you would want to bring a random stranger to your family holiday party? Why is Mingle all the way different than all of the other dating apps out there? Because our matches aren't created for romance. Excuse me? Unlike traditional dating apps, Mingle All The Way isn't for people looking for a relationship. Our users are perfectly happy remaining single, they simply need someone to go to an event with them. It's basically an escort service! Once again, I totally get that it's probably annoying to be asked why you're single, but I also feel like it's taken on so much deeper of a level than it actually is. I feel like half the time people are always asking why someone is single at a Christmas party or a holiday party or at any family event. It's mainly because they have no idea what else to talk to you about because you see them three times out of the year. They also spend like five minutes painting this app as if it's been her lifelong dream, as if at age five she was like, yeah, I'm gonna be probably single around 35, so I should make a networking app for people to take fake dates to their Mima's Kris Kringle. Imagine showing up at your industry party or parties with an ambitious and intelligent person on your arm. An escort. Just call it an escort. Once a match is made, our pair agrees to a set of events where they will be each other's platonic plus one. There are only two genders, plus one and platonic plus one. Why don't I demonstrate why mingling is the next major social innovation? They're calling it what? Mingling? How beautiful. Not a cell phone in sight. Just people mingling in the moment. So if the app is called Mingle All The Way, and the act of using the app is called mingling, does that mean that by joining the app, you're a mingle? So somehow, even though their investor pitch involved using the word mingle as a noun, adjective, and verb within the span of 50 seconds, the investor is surprisingly interested and is willing to invest so long as Molly joins the app herself and shows her experience before the end of the holidays. Wonderful. Very clever playing a jazz version of Jingle All The Way in the background of this scene. Except you mingle. All the way. Then we learn that Jad is actually going to be battling it out with his co-worker to head the new LA office his company is creating after the holidays as well. We'll be opening its first Los Angeles office right after the holidays. <laughs> Welcome Tell me this does not look like the beginning of you. Thank you. Is that an original Reynolds department store angel? Long story short for this scene, she grabs the angel, she puts it down for a second, and then Jad picks it up. I honestly wish I was kidding when I say it took five whole ass minutes for this movie to show these three plot points, but um, I'm not. Oh, is there a problem? Well, no, I hope not. It's just, I saw this angel first and I was gonna bring it up and I was well, gonna buy it. shopping works. What a dick. Harris and I are engaged. <laughs> oh shit, I stand corrected. No, you haven't had the best of luck dating, but you know, if you just change your- Listen, I know you've had a really tough time with dating, but honestly, I feel like if you just change your hair, your makeup, the way you look overall, the way you dress, basically everything, I feel like it'll be a lot easier for you. The two end up bumping into each other again, but this time she knocks over his Christmas socks and he gets awkwardly pissed about it. It's super weird to witness. 
What? These aren't for sale. I made these all myself. Oh, really? Well, um, I could help you clean them. Oh, it's fine, really. I have a creative process. Uh, I didn't realize Christmas stockings were so artistic. It's okay, look, just try not to mess up anyone else's aesthetic vision today, okay? This is totally the type of guy who'd be like, listen, I'm a creative, but I'm also an empath, so this negative energy going on here, I, I just can't be around it any longer. Hi. So I'm thinking we hang this up until we move into a real office. Oh my god, that is so ugly. Get it away. That logo screams, we are not real. We're, we're fake. I mean it. Hey, Riley. I think these are what you've been waiting for. Perfect. Thanks, Uncle Jeff. Is him being nice to his niece supposed to offset the fact that he was a major douche at the beginning for the viewers that were like, yeah, he was a dick, but... He's nice to a cute kid. While Jad is with his niece, he mentions to his sister that he's gonna be signing up for Mingle all the way, and his reasoning is because apparently having a girlfriend will give him a better chance of getting the opportunity in LA because apparently his boss likes when his employees have girlfriends. Why do the graphics on this app look like those animations from TikTok? Just make me sound appealing. Uh, girls like puppies. Girls are into that, right? <laughs> nice one. The worst part about this movie so far is that you know in five years, either LinkedIn or Bumble is gonna offer the exact same premise as this app in the movie. So, Jeff will meet you at 7 p.m. at the coffee stand near Lisa's party. I figured since we encourage our matches to meet up one-on-one -on -one to make sure they're comfortable, you should do the same. Yeah, definitely. That's perfect. I'll show all the ins and outs of how Mingle All The Way works. Mingle? I mingle all the time. I'd actually go as far to say as I'm quite a seasoned mingler. And then, of course, the big plot twist is that they ended up matching with each other and they decide that they're going to make the most out of it and they go to the party that Molly needs to visit and, dare I say, they begin to mingle all the way. I think I realized why the guy in this movie seems so familiar in his acting style is because I feel like whoever wrote his character is trying to write him the same way that Schmidt from New Girl is written. <sighs> now all I'm thinking about is how much better this movie would have been if Max Greenfield was in this. Is it possible to get one of these cakes with the whipped cream on the side? Uh, of course, you're one of those. One of what? The type who can't just enjoy something without making it complicated. Okay. <laughs> Did they just try to steal and then proceed to botch that part from when Harry met Sally? You're Grinch. I knew there was something off about you. You're messing with me. Wrong. I live for this season. I live for Christmas. I breathe Christmas. And not run through my veins. Do you mind if I take a pic of you two? Oh, oh, no. Nonsense, when, yes. That's embarrassing. Oh. No, I don't yes. I, Oh my god, how quirky. So, how is Jeff? <sighs> Awful. He's totally smug. He's way too into Christmas. That was part of your top three complaints about him? He's smug, he stole my Christmas angel, and he likes Christmas. It's fine. I don't have to like the guy. I just need someone who will go on a few work events with me over the holidays. Fair enough. Well, I'll leave the negative report of Jeff out of what I said Miss Lang and... Hope for the best, I guess. Oh yeah, doesn't this mean that her app doesn't work then if it matched her with someone she doesn't like? You're not actually expecting me to skate, are you? As I recall, you accused me of being clumsy. Oh, I... Is this gonna be a scene where she's like clumsy on her skates and then she almost falls and he catches her and their eyes meet and then I'll be home for Christmas starts playing in the background? Nope, turns out they don't even go skating. The entire two minute setup of them getting ready to skate was for nothing. Literally nothing. They then meet up with his boss and he accidentally calls Molly his girlfriend, which she gets really upset about, which I don't get because wasn't the entire point of Mingle all the way that you pretended to have a partner and now she's acting like it was only for networking? Say, would you two like to join me and my family for caroling next week? Is caroling like an American thing? Like, is that normal for people in America to just like see a bunch of carolers like charging down the road singing? I was just calling to see if you're still on for family dinner. Well, that'll be nice. Is there anything I can bring? Maybe a dessert? A boyfriend, sweetie. You could bring a boyfriend. I don't suppose there's any reason to set an extra place at the table, right, for a guest? Because I, I was speaking with Vivian. Why is this mother so invested in her getting a boyfriend? Up to two. Oh my god, she has a mason jar of water, too. Oh! Okay, wait, that's definitely not water. It was glue, Casey. It was fucking glue. This doesn't look like a networking arrangement to me. I'm confused. All she did was spill a drink on him and the sister's like looking from afar being like, I knew it. This is definitely more than just an arrangement. I think they're playing our song. Shall we? Silent Night is your song? What kind of situation would you have to be in during your relationship where Silent Night is playing in the background where you would decide, you know what, honey? 
This should be our song. It's Silent Night, for God's sake! Um, sir, th this is a- this is a Wendy's. You, you can't just start dancing in the middle of the room. I brought us a peppermint latte. Thanks. That's very merry of you. This looks cheerful. Did you do all of this? No. Lisa offered to help in exchange for my graphic design know-how. Apparently, I was recently described as incredible. Couldn't agree more. Wow. I didn't expect to see a restaurant moonlighting as a gift trapping center. I don't know why, but there is something about the way that his shirt is unbuttoned that's making me really uncomfortable. It's part of an ongoing charitable program. I offered up the restaurant this year as a gift wrapping venue. Okay, but hold on. If this guy is so charitable, why couldn't he give her that angel thing at the beginning of the movie? That is a handsome fur. <laughs> Where'd you get your Christmas tree? Let me take a wild guess, she doesn't have a Christmas tree. I don't have a Christmas tree. Jeffrey, why don't you sit down and tell us about yourself? Molly hasn't shared anything. Oh no, this is gonna be so awkward, I can already tell. Hmm? Oh? I play golf with Lloyd Grayson, he's an excellent golfer. Wow, love to join you sometime. Oh. Mm -hmm. Jeff works at a company that provides a 401k. Nice. I have a 401k. Dad actually ends up giving Molly's dad that angel thing that was mentioned for 10 seconds at the beginning of the movie. And I think as the viewer, we're supposed to be like super invested in this moment and think it's really cute, but I'm not really. The tree scene by far though is the hardest part of this movie to watch because when it's just the two of them interacting with each other by themselves with nothing else really going on for several minutes, you realize just how painfully bland their personalities are. Snow globes. You get a new one every city I visit. You are one of a kind, sir. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's lame for a grown man to love snow globes. <laughs> thinking it, yes, but I wasn't going to say it out loud. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with lame hobbies because I, for one, belong to a knitting club. <laughs> <laughs> the best way to describe the way that they're interacting with each other is if you thought that they were two actors that had been tasked with acting out a transcript that had come from a chat room in LinkedIn. Let's circle back to the- You cannot tell me that you've ever heard somebody say, let's circle back, unless it was in an email. Like, who wrote this script? My name's Shining Tinsel. Um, I would like to go back to the time when I hadn't heard or seen that. That was a, that was a close one. Yeah. You know, I've actually always wondered what it would be like if two people with absolutely no personality interacted with each other. Like, dead ass, this guy's entire personality revolves around the season of Christmas, and hers revolves around her app. Hello. Mom? That's a good time to talk. Oh my god, wait, this just clicked in my head when the mom walked in. Is her entire first floor her office now? Like, she just got rid of her living room and kitchen, and it's just an office? Yeah, hey, uh, what are you doing here? Came to see my daughter's office. Jergen sponsor? Sorry, mom, before you say anything more, I just need to get my St. Ives soothing lotion. Just before I talk to you, I just, my hands are so dry right now. Oh, I feel so nice. It's very charming. Well, I would hope so. It's her entire house. Are you making fun of me? No, I'm not. I'm sorry. It's high time I came to see what Mingle All The Way was all about. <laughs> wow. Just said Mingle All The Way without gagging. Yeah, sorry, I haven't got to that point yet. Molly, I have no doubt that you are going to be a success at whatever you choose to do. Except can it not be through an app called Mingle All The Way? Because, like, I really don't think that's going to work. You're never hard on Michelle. Michelle's a very different person. She needs constant validation. Listen, sweetie, the only reason we reassure your sister so much is because, frankly, she's a dumbass. So after Molly and her mom make nice, they then move on to go to their respective Christmas parties. So this isn't a family Christmas party. This is a party for the accountant's clients? When would this ever happen in real life? He 
funny that all I could think about during that scene was just like how awkward that would be for the guitar player to be like playing the guitar and you just have 50 people with their drinks just staring at you. Lisa Turner from Swift Technologies called me personally and she wants us to create a national campaign for her. Wait, why does that shot of him look like the kid doing the shoe review? Create a national campaign for her. Tell us more about Molly. We barely know anything about her. Oh, she's a tech entrepreneur. Her scheduling app is currently being uh, capitalized by Lang Enterprises. Scheduling? Yeah, that's an interesting way to describe Mingle All The Way. Please don't. I'm Molly Hoffman, creator of Mingle All The Way and a proud member. My match, Jeff and I have compatible schedules and interests and a mutual gain and accompany each other to our seasonal events. Can I see that? Yeah. We aren't looking for romance and that's totally okay. Helping each other navigate the holiday season was the- Correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think you're making this situation a hundred times worse by continuing to read this out loud in front of your boss. So this was all for show, Jeffrey. Why is this boss so concerned with his employee's dating life? Better yet, why is everyone so concerned with everyone's dating life? So you were just using me? Yes. That's the point of this app. What is this man on? This is the exact same reason he joined. I do not understand that this guy has the audacity to be angry at her when he stole her angel. Mr. Grayson? Mr. Grayson? Is that you? I'm sorry, I was just creepily staring at my snow globe in silence. I, I thought I saw you pass by. Mr. Grayson, I'm so sorry. Why did he say it like that? I'm so sorry. True Grayson teammate doesn't spite his colleagues in that manner. Believe you me, Brent and I had some words. Everything he said was true. I haven't been honest with you, sir, and it's time I stop pretending. Jeffrey, I know a man in love when I see it. I'm not so sure you are pretending at all. Look, you don't need a girlfriend to prove to me you know how to commit. Um, can we get HR in the chat, please? The LA office is yours, if you want it. Let me guess, he doesn't want it. <laughs> the truth is- The truth is, I was running late. Jeff Scanlon, it is a pleasure to meet you, Ms. Lang. Meeting Molly was the most successful thing to happen to me all year. It taught me about the kind of woman I should be with. Why are they using this poor investor as a vessel to share their feelings with each other instead of just telling themselves privately? Ma'am, I have to be honest with you. I think I do have feelings for him. Well, ma'am, if I'm being honest, I think I have feelings for her too. Like, I don't think she gives a shit to be honest. So I am very proud to say welcome to the Lang Enterprises family. Thank you so much. I have completely fallen for you. That is good to hear, Molly Hoffman. Because as it stands, I feel the same way. Wow, what a surprise. I definitely didn't see that coming at all. Well, my final thoughts on the movie are that it was definitely very cheesy, very awkward, and very cringy at times, but was definitely not the worst thing I've ever seen in the world. The chemistry between them was definitely very confusing. There were times where it was like, oh, okay, they've got a bit of banter. They seem like they're they could actually in real life like be into each other and then there were other parts where it was like oh my god like is this literally just a polite email chain personified regardless hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this movie with me let me know if you guys did enjoy this kind of style of video i know i haven't done one of these in definitely a while i think literally the last time i did one was in the summer so if you do want me to look at more movies and do these kinds of videos let me know give me video suggestions as well or not video suggestions more so movie suggestions but yeah if you did enjoy the video feel free to give it a like and subscribe to the channel you can also turn my post notifications on if you want to be notified every single time that i upload and if you want to follow me outside of youtube you can follow me on instagram and twitter which are both casey anzo anyways thank you so much for watching happy holidays and i'll see you guys in the next one